What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spencers. Y'all, it's bye week edition. So the Eagles on bye. And also, the Buffalo Bills are on bye. The two top teams. You know, I got my Buffalo Bills friend in the building, Corbin Bryant. Y'all have seen him on here before. Corbin, how you feeling? Head into the bye. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really good. We had a little bit of a scare against the Ravens. Um, obviously the Dolphins beat us, but you know what? Sometimes you have to lose to know what you know, the improvements mm -hmm. you make and where you need to go. So that's why I like, you know, when teams are going undefeated, I'm just like, mm, they okay, now why, 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 why are we in it, Corbin? Why are we in it? I, I, listen, y'all are going to, y'all, y'all are going to want to lose to somebody. I, I don't know who it's going to be I'll because I'm going to, I'm going to get into why y'all are really good. <laughs> um, but it's going to be good for y'all to lose one or two games, trust me. And it's not, yes, the, end the, it's not the end of the world if you lose. Of course not. Like, going into the season, looking at the schedule, like, we made so many moves, Corbin, this offseason. I don't think the yeah. national media, they don't pay it. They're, like, all shocked that the Eagles are 6-0 and because they don't pay attention to us every day. We've made so many moves. Looking at the schedule, there's no team on the schedule that we cannot beat. Now, oh, of course, every team can so beat right. It's just going to be, who do we lose to? But we can beat everybody. But I don't right. want to go. I mean, of course, I'll take 17-0, but the team needs wake-up calls. And that game against the Cardinals, yeah. I think, was a really good wake-up call for us. I wouldn't even been mad if we lost that game. The only team I would, did not want to lose to first was obviously the Cowboys. But we got a great wake-up call from the Cardinals just showing that we are invincible. You still got to make plays. Big play, Slay. We need you to be big play. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Every Sunday, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, I, I, mean, I appreciate you guys, that. Let me tell you something about the Eagles. I'm, a, I'm just going to talk. You know, I, I'm not going to be a hater all the time. I'm going to talk about what makes you guys so good. Number one, Jalen Hurts is on his rookie deal. And he is playing like an MVP, which is, one, which is what – all general managers want in their quarterbacks because when you have a quarterback that's on his rookie deal, he's not making 30, 40, 50 million dollars a year. You can spend in other places. You can resign a Fletcher Cox. You can uh, pay a Darius Slay. Uh, you can you can get some some top of the line offensive linemen, which is like huge for for every young quarterback. So and also the biggest piece of them all, A.J. Brown. I mean, you can pay an A.J. Brown $100 million when your quarterback is only making, you know, he's not, it's not too shabby, but he's, you know, he's making yeah. between, between what, five and $10 million. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's what's making you guys really good. And I believe that the play calling on offense and defense has been like super like on point for you guys. So let me ask you this. I got a couple questions, and it's, it's perfect because, you know, you was coming into the season talking all your bills, talk, and I respect the bills, but, you know, you wasn't really giving us our respect, Corbin. So going into the season, you were not, Corbin. That's true because I, I didn't know about Jalen Hurts, but he is he is proving me wrong. He <laughs> is proving me wrong. I, I am a believer. So the Bills and the Eagles, we're the two teams. Everybody's debating who should be on top. Mm-hmm unbiasedly dig your deepest to be unbiased who would you take number one right now if the eagles and bills play next week fully uh -oh. healthy bills fully healthy eagles what's up you guys it's me here interrupting me to let you know that i am partnering with prize picks this nfl season to bring you guys a hundred percent deposit match if you use my code someone with the sports Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can make picks and make money. So use my code Simone with the sports and they will match your deposit a hundred percent minimum ten dollars up to a hundred dollars. But y'all help me out with my picks. Who should I pick the more or less on download the app? Let me know because I'm trying to make some money. Help your girl out. But now back to the video. Listen, I'm taking I'm taking the Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles mainly because of you you guys have a no, no let me let me just talk real quick from all y'all secondary is locked down who was that guy y'all got from the johnson garden johnson yeah no 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 the other guy number who's number 24 who's that guy ah forget his name james bradbury james bradbury y'all got james bradbury and darius slate on the corner those are two lockdown corners y'all look at y'all defensive line y'all got sweat y'all got the big fella from georgia um, the Fletcher Cox and and y'all still got the Hargrave, the grave digger. I mean, y'all, 
y'all's defense is like so strong, unbelievable. And when you look at the Bills, we have Tredavious White coming back soon. They're not rushing him back, which is smart. Um, we're missing Micah Hyde. Um, that's making our secondary like a little bit weaker. Um, so we're, we're gonna have we're gonna have like maybe a little trouble in the secondary. Um, I believe our defensive line is really good, which is another strong piece. Linebackers are going to be linebackers. I don't really grade linebackers like that because they're not a very – they're not highly valued like they used to be in the old days. I, I, I put running backs and linebackers in the same boat because, you know, nobody's going to pay them the top dollar anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just not going to happen. Um, I feel like the Bills' offensive line is good. I feel like our, our receivers – we're going to lose Gabe Davis – next year or the year after that whenever his contract is up because he's going to get paid Mm -hmm. i mean the dude is just straight balling and we're running the ball really well with singletary um but if i were to give you guys i mean our teams are like very similar but i give you guys the advantage because of the secondary man people are asleep like they just don't understand how many moves we made like we loaded oh. down everybody mm-hmm. just focused in on aj uh, aj brown because it was a big game day uh I mean, draft night AJ, trade. Brown is, aj brown is gonna be a hall of famer mm-hmm. and for you the Titans so? to give him up now granted who what did what did the eagles give him a first round pick yeah i would uh, trade i would yeah i think it was a first round pick i would trade two first round picks for aj because that he's that good, he's that physical, he runs great routes, and he has great speed. And to think that him and DK Metcalf were on the same college team, it's just insane. I don't know how Ole Miss wasn't beating everybody. <laughs> I just don't know who was the coach. Like, I mean, just throw it to him. <laughs> exactly. Jalen Hurts having no problem with that. No. So let me ask you this. When it comes, you watched the Eagles Dallas game, didn't you? Oh, no quit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I know you might have Sunday night dinner. Y'all be at y'all be on vacation. My Sundays are carved out for ball. <laughs> um, what did you see? Cause you know, I got bite. You know, my eyes are bite. My yeah, eyes yeah, are bite. Yeah. But Corbin, from my naked eye, <laughs> that Dallas defense was no problem. Yeah, I well, no, let me let let me break it down. What did you. you see? What did you see? Let me let me let me break it down for you. So Dallas's defense is, is super aggressive. If you sit in the pocket, they're gonna bury you because their pass rushers are maybe top five in the league. They can get to the quarterback any play, any play that you drop back. So what they did was they made sure they controlled Michael Parsons on the edge. And they controlled him on the edge through through zone read motion, through AJ Brown coming across his face and trying, and they were pretty much confusing them on what they were trying to do. So when they put him in like the zone read action, in the boot action, he can't come up field and get the quarterback because he's guessing on where he's trying to go. So every time you saw AJ Brown go in motion and, and run run into the flat, they were they were controlling Michael Parsons. And when you control mm. Michael Parsons, you control the Cowboys defense and then make some get like real like flustered so their game plan was was top of the line I mean they were throwing the ball to AJ Brown in the flat I think he scored one touchdown on one a couple others he's got 20 30 yards they didn't know what to do with that obviously the next time that they play the Cowboys at home it's going to be a little bit different you know everybody is going to you know, be game planning to figure out what the Eagles are trying to do. Yeah. And at some at some point, what is this? We were we week seven, Simone? Mm-hmm. We're at that point in time where where teams are getting the film on everybody and they can really like break it down. So it's gonna get a little tougher for the Eagles. The Eagles are a great team, don't get me wrong. But somebody's gonna figure them out and the Eagles are gonna have to adjust. But but yeah, yeah see them, my them, thing them, is them, like them, go ahead. I'm not necessarily concerned about like I'm not concerned about like win loss totals all that all that the regular season is regular season we can go 16 and one we can go 15 and two but it's just only that matters to me is the play obviously i want to win the uh division but i want to be built for the playoffs i feel like we can go as long as we are h and h healthy and humble you know what i'm saying like yeah, i'm not gonna lie over. corbin at um darius slade giving that ball the meek mill mid game <laughs> I like that stuff, Corbin. Get back locked in the game. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, it's too no, much. no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Guys got to have their fun. Like, they got okay. <laughs> they got to have their fun. But then in the second half, you go quiet a little bit. You committing penalties. That's that's giving. That's helping. Um, Cooper Rush drive on us because you you giving up penalties. That's how they got that um touchdown to go up seventeen. 
Yeah, and I and I under, and I understand that, but when if that was like a rookie or something, I would understand. But Darius Slate is like a perennial Pro Bowler. He'll probably be a Hall of Famer at some point. There's nothing you can do about that. There's nothing a coach can tell him. Like you know, he Darius Slate is gonna be in his zone. Is he gonna get you know? routes run on them fine like i mean but most of the time aj i mean not aj but um darius slay is gonna be he's gonna be locked down and you just have to have confidence in that yeah and then now we got chauncey gardner johnson i mean because in the past it was just like darius slay that's it but now we got james bradbury coming to make plays chauncey gardner johnson coming to make plays so that just takes up you know back in the day last season just like please big play slay please but now i could be like please james please big play please josh like i got options it's the depth you know what i'm saying and and the (laughs) thing is simone when you have corners in the secondary like that it just makes fletcher cox's life that much easier it makes um sweat's life that much easier these guys are coming off the edge like demons because they know that they're gonna get there because these guys in the back end are locking them down so when you look at Dallas, I'm just talking about Dallas because Corbin. Why are you has worried so, about Dallas? Why are you worried about Dallas? Because, no, Corbin, they be they be they be running off at the mouth so much. You don't understand. You have to deal I, with I, a fan I, base. I, I understand. Yeah, I, I, you don't I, have I, to I, deal I, with I a fan base like better. that, Corbin. So, <laughs> and again, like you said, we do have to play them again. Dallas swept us last season, so I want to sweep Dallas this season. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Watching Dallas in prime time going up against the number one team, what did you, what like good things did you see besides Mike well, again? I, um, you know what? Tank. By the time the Eagles play the Cowboys, uh, Dak Prescott's going to be back. So I can't really say anything I about, about no Cooper Rush. I think, I think Cooper Rush has solidified himself as a 15 year backup quarterback. He'll be in the league for, he'll be on the Chase Daniel plan. Like he, he like like seriously, he's gonna be making four or five million dollars a year for the next fifteen years. Um, but I think I think I saw Zeke Elliott running the ball hard. I yeah, thought, he was. He has like some great runs. Um, they're missing obviously Tyron Smith's out for the year. Um, but they're still like running the ball very effectively with the line. I guess the guy that that replaced him at left tackle is pretty good. I like their right tackle; he's really strong. Um. Yeah, the, you know, the quarterback play for them has been pretty good. Obviously, their defense with DeMarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons coming off the edge. They, 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 oh, I think, yeah, you, can wave, you, you can wave your hand at it all you want, but these guys are going to sack your quarterback. Um, I think they, they do okay in the secondary, but their secondary can be okay because their defensive line is getting that much pressure that they can get all the overthrows and tips from the pressure and be and be just fine. Um, I think their linebacker play is pretty good with, uh, with Leighton Vander Esch. I think he's you know, making a lot of tackles and making a lot of plays for him. And also on special teams, they have this guy last name Turpin. That's just like, Oh my goodness. He I tore mean, us he, up. I mean, he's so, he's probably one of, one of the fastest guys I've ever seen. Like this he dude. He was tearing and, it up. Yeah. And he came from, um, from the other football league. I forget what the name XFL, was. XFL, USFL. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. And this dude, he's for real. Yeah, and he's a guy that you you should not be kicking it to. So what I would say about special teams is, y'all need to be kicking that ball out of bounds against the Cowboys because that Turpin kid. Because he ran it. one back for like forty some yards that helped them on that drive. Yeah, but mm-hmm. when you see and, somebody field position in these kind of games is it, it's critical. Mm-hmm. It's critical. So somebody like Turpin, why does he like? Why wouldn't he begin any action like in the slide or like? Uh, a wide I mean, receiver I, like a Deshaun I mean, Jackson. Yeah, I mean, you could say a, a lot of things about it. Number one, they, I believe the Cowboys probably have the depth, so he's probably like down on the depth chart. Number two, he's probably not that great of a receiver. Mm. Um, he probably doesn't have the hands that they that they want. You know, if he did, he would probably be out there running down the seam. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there's there, there could be a couple reasons to why he's not out there. But I believe they have just more confidence in the receivers that they have. Um, I think they run mostly three receiver sets because they have like pretty good tight ends. Um, but yeah, I mean it could be a myriad of reasons, but they probably yeah. you, you just want them to focus on being a returner. It could be a it could be a lot of things. So your Bills, they're the top team I'm seeing in the running for Christian McCaffrey. What do you think about that? <laughs> I mean, they need to get him in here and do like the most in depth physical. 
that they can, they need to figure out what's broken on the inside. Everything broken. I mean, I mean, they need to put him through the MRI machine three times. You know what I mean? Right. This dude has been hurt since he got into the league. Is he a, a fantastic talent? Oh yeah. Would would I try? I mean, if I'm going for the Super Bowl, you know, would I make like a Rams kind of move and just get somebody in here? Sure, but like. How long is he gonna play? That's the question. Exactly. That's the question. How many how many carries can he give you a game? How many actual games can he play in? Like, is this a guy that you just get and you rehab him and you play him in December? Right. I mean, I mean that's the biggest question. Is he a great talent? Yeah. But is it worth? I mean, it's all about what they're asking for. If they're asking for a six round pick, yes, sure. If they're asking for anything third and up, I, no chance. I, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't do it. He's too. He's hurt. He's always like, hurt. Like at the, the best, this is one of the quotes I got from one of my coaches while I was playing. The best ability is your availability. You have Period. to be, listen. If you're if you're a great talent and you're on the way to the Hall of Fame, but you can't get out there, right? What's the use? Exactly. Um, because that's the same exact thing I said. Because when the Panthers fired Matt Rule, you know they put everybody on the shopping, on the market, and you know some. They, CBS Sports or somebody made like a graphic, like top landing spots for Christian McCaffrey. Y'all were on there. We were on there. And that was my exact same thing. If we trade for Christian McCaffrey now, he ain't even going to be available. Before, if we trade for him for a Super Bowl run, he ain't even going to be available for the It's really got to be. He's not going to be healthy by the time we need him in, in the trenches and the playoffs. I mean, and, and the thing is, like, it, it's, it's got to be one of those dump them and see. And, and the dump them and see deals are the seventh round pick. I mean, they got to maybe agree to pace. I mean, he's making a lot of money. A lot of money. I mean, that's the thing. How much cap space? I mean, I, I'm sure the Eagles have more cap space than the Bills do because the Bills have paid their quarterback. Yeah. already so i mean it really depends on you know how much of the salary that they can pay um but he's gonna end up somewhere he's a talent but mm -hmm. man godly I, uh, can, but again you know, it's the contract not only the contract you'll take on a contract if the guy is available but like you said well, you can only you can only take on the contract if you have the money yeah but okay even if i had the money it's still that Christian McCaffrey is still never healthy. So it right. is, he could play one down and be out for three weeks. Exactly, man. And then so is he just too much of a gamble, money and injuries. Like, exactly. Exactly. So I don't see anybody paying anything higher than a six round pick for this guy. Yeah. And it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth mm -mm. it. Like, I don't care how talented you are. If you can't get out there. So let me ask you, I got just some, Get your take on a couple of things before I let you out of here. Gotcha. Russell Wilson and the Broncos. <laughs> What's going on? Like, why is it their defense yeah. has been doing like every game I watch, like the defense have kept has kept the game close. But for some reason, they just the offense just can't score when they need to. What's what's the problem? They're turning the ball over in the red zone, which is a no no. Like you get down there, like you know, inside the twenty, you got to score. I don't care if it's a field goal. I don't care if it's a touch, or whatever. You gotta you gotta score when you're down there, and they're not scoring. But like, why? Russell Wilson's going down there. He's uh, he's. Number one, let me, let me just say this. I'm just going to be honest with you. Russell Wilson ain't the same. He slowed down. I remember I was watching him against, oh, I forgot who they were playing, but he was running off. I was like, oh, man, it's not the same guy. He slowed down. His arm strength is not there. Um, I mean, I think he has a good team around him. I, actually, you know what? He lost his left tackle. That doesn't help. Yeah. Um, the, <sighs> Melvin Gordon's not that great. You know, he fumbles um, all the they time. They didn't even get him no run last game. Yeah, that's because he the boy is dropping the ball. And gosh, Nathaniel Hackett is not the answer. Mm. Nathaniel Hackett is not the answer. Like they're doing a lot of stuff. They're throwing the ball way down the field. They need uh, they they're going for too many home runs. They gotta they gotta make the offense like more manageable, more manageable for Russell Wilson. But like, I mean. I, well, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Somebody going to be gone at the end of the year. You think it could have something to do with chemistry? Definitely like, chemistry, too. Like, this is like anytime you're in like a first year of like learning the offense, 
Like it's it's tough. Like like you can either hit hit a, hit a home run with it, or you can be like, oh man, which you know you should have run you should have ran a, a dig route instead of an out route, or mm-hmm. you should have you should have run that corner instead of a, a a post. You know, guys confused on what the offense is, and and that's on and that's on Hackett. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was a one and done coach. Yeah, uh, this is this is this is this is not this is not good. That was I mean, big, and, and, this is, and this is week seven. Like they have, they got a chance to bounce back. But I mean, I, every game I've watched to them this year, I'm basically falling asleep, quite honestly, because it's been so many turnovers. So bad. I mean, just watch. I remember watching the Colts game. That was one of the worst. That was one of the worst football games. I'm talking about high school, grade school. Right. I mean, that was terrible, Simone. I mean, I was just like, whoo. And this week, you say uh, it's week, we're going into week seven, but the Colts, they're a team that they're figuring their stuff out. They got a brand new quarterback with Matt Ryan, old quarterback, but they start, they're three and three now. They turn in and figuring their stuff out. The Broncos, they just seem broken. Yeah, it's something wrong. I don't, I don't know what it is. They but don't. I heard um, Marshawn Lynch on a podcast was saying that I don't get too much in the rumor wire, not too much. But Marshawn <laughs> Lynch was saying how in order to get in contact with Russ, he has to go through Russ's agent. Really? And I'm like, huh? Marshawn Lynch, like, got to go through your agent, your whole offense, like your. One of the top reasons why you won a Super Bowl, he can't get your direct line. Yeah, that's 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 tough. Like when you when you so can't if Marshawn got to go through the agent, you think Jerry Judy got his direct line? I don't think so. I, don't, I mean, I don't, listen, man, I'm not the one to, to to speculate either. But if that's the case, that's just that's just another another thing that they're that's making them bad. Like you got to be able to communicate. I should be able to text you at like nine o'clock. When I say, "Hey, man, I for you know, can you talk to me about what I'm supposed to do on on X Y Z?" And I was like, "Oh, no, no, call my agent." I'm like, "Nah, that I don't, <laughs> I, I don't think that's true." Like, I remember like being in the locker room with some with some dudes or whatever, and, and you know, people don't care about giving their phone number out to their teammates. Like, well, apparently he does because he said he had to go. Th- he has to go through his agent still. That's so. Uh, I mean, I hope that's not true. That's all. That's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I hope that's not true. I hope it's not true, but I mean, that's weird. Like it, it weird. makes and, sense you know though, what? because if you're a new, if you coming in, that could be a disconnect. That could be a reason why some stuff isn't working out on offense, because it's some communication barriers is obviously there. Yeah. Well, lastly, let me ask you this. Give me your top five, because I was updating my power rankings today. And after three, I have oh, I have Eagles, um, Bills, and Chiefs. But boy, once you get past, because there's so many teams that are just mid. Like, they just, okay, they're a solid team. But mm-hmm. after the Eagles, Bills, and Chiefs, like, it's just a huge, it's just a bunch of okay teams and then bad teams. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with the Eagles. I'm gonna go with Buffalo. Obviously, yeah, Kansas City is there. Um, I once Tua gets back, I'll put Miami in there because I, I just love the strength of their offense. Yeah, I, I love it. like with those two speedsters on the outside. And man, well, we gotta I, see what I Tua have to go look with. Like. I I have to go with. I mean, this is a team that nobody ever talks about. I'm gonna have to go with Minnesota. Yeah, they're five and one, and they've been playing some tough. Listen, their only I, loss is to us, the number one I team. I am the one that will raise my hand and say I am not a Kirk Cousins fan. I, I Nobody just, is. I mean, but they're winning. They are. They're winning. Dalvin Cook's running the ball really well. I mean, Justin Jefferson's may be the top receiver in the league. Yeah. Just maybe. Um, but yeah, other than that, like. I mean, oh god, the Packers are so bad. I'm just Packers are so bad. They're bad. The Buccaneers. I mean, I think they'll bounce back, but they're mm-hmm. trash. I mean, it's they just no bad. really like outside the top three. There's no everybody else is just okay. It, this is honestly, honestly, right now as we're looking at, this is a bad year for the league. It is. You know, like I would say, the Ra- the Ravens are losing tough game. I mean, to put the Giants in there. The Giants. I put the Giants. You so know I put what? The I Eagles. Just, Bills, Chiefs, 
Vikings, and then I put the Giants at five. Because, I mean, they're five and one. Somebody got to be there. I just don't. With the Giants, I love their coach. I just don't believe in Daniel Jones. I don't believe in him. Now, I, the, the quarterbacks that I talked about before, I believe in Jalen. I believe in Josh Allen. I, of course, I believe in Pat Mahomes. You know, as you know, as the season goes on, I, I, I'm never going to not believe in Tom Brady. I mean, he's yeah. a pretty but like, but who else is that? I mean, Derek Carr stinking it up. Stinking uh, it up. Yeah. Who? Herbert. The Raiders have some, they're one and whatever, but they have had some tough games. So I will give them that. Yeah. I mean, the AFC West was supposed to be the division that was supposed to beat everybody. Exactly. And I, I mean, San Francisco is not that good. Mm-mm. They lost to the Falcons. I mean, right. And not only lost, the Falcons won solidly. Like the they Falcons, had two, two touchdowns. Right. They scored 28 points. Oh. That's four touchdowns. Yeah. I, uh, no, I'm saying they won by two touchdowns. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, saying you're getting beat by the Falcons by two touchdowns. Come on. Yeah. I mean, this is a. And Tom Brady said this maybe last week or two weeks ago. He said it's a lot of bad football being played out there. It is. Oh yeah, I mean, where's ten? Where's the Titans? Right. I mean, Tannehill stinking it up. <laughs> I mean, it's just not, it's, 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 it's not a good year for football. I'm just glad my team's good. That's right. All. I'm, this is the year to be good though, Corbin, because yeah, everybody else is not good. Oh, so. God. The the Browns, the Steelers are terrible. Mm-hmm. They're terrible. We knew the Steelers was gonna be bad though. Like, I mean, they somehow, they're in a super review. Tampa, they somehow beat Tampa Bay. I mean, they, I tell you what, the only thing that's holding the, is the Steelers together is that it's Mike Tomlin. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably the best coach, one of the best coaches of all time. Mm-hmm. He, he is the only one that can coach that team. Yeah. I mean, the Bengals, I, I like Joe Burrow, man, but. I don't I just, know. I haven't seen enough of the Bengals. I don't know what their problem is, but. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of three and three teams, mm-hmm. a lot of three and three teams, and less out there, Simone. So we go over these next couple of weeks. We gonna see who is who because it's maybe going. hopefully by week ten we can figure something out. Yeah, see what's, I mean, what's really up? Yeah, but I mean, I, I, you gonna hate that I say I like I still like the Cowboys. I still like the Cowboys. Yeah, I mean, people didn't think y'all's division would come. Y'all division is nice with the our division pop, and I don't like that, Corbin. <laughs> I, I, I don't. Know. But 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 Simone, it's usually really really bad. It's okay, usually y'all winning the, the division. Through. It's usually y'all winning the division at seven and nine or something like that. Okay, like, but my thing is, Cowboys. I don't like us having three teams. Now I gotta. I don't like. Okay, if it's just us and the Cowboys, us and the Giants, fine. It's three of us. We slip. Oh, and yeah. we all of a sudden third in the division. I don't like that. Y'all got to come out and play then. I don't like that. Because I, I tell you like what, that. I watched those Giants. Y'all better come and play them boys. Yeah, the I'm Giants honest. got some dogs. They, they, they hungry. nice. They nice. They hungry. We got the Giants the last game of the season, Corbin. Yeah. Yeah. We Y'all already played them once, right? Uh uh-uh, we haven't played them yet. Yeah, the, the Giants, they got a they, they nice. I'm right. trying to think if there's anybody else that I missed. No, and everybody else. Basically, that's that's it. I mean, people are talking about the Jets, Simone. And so, uh, who knows? I mean, they're beating people. They're beating people. Yeah, I mean, they're three and three. The Jets. I thought they were four and two. No, nah, they're they're three and three. Oh, they're three and three. Yeah, but I, I mean, the, the Jets. It's the Jets, though. I yeah. Mean, I mean, that's if a lot. Jets, if the Jets win six games, it's a miracle. Right. Yeah, it's a it's a very interesting time in the NFL. But like I said, it's bye week for us. We chilling, sitting back, watching these other teams. We're gonna see who come out on top. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We're gonna we're gonna see if the Eagles went to Cancun or if they stayed in town to They study. better be safe. We got the Steelers <laughs> next week. Don't slip. Oh yeah. I mean you can't sleep on I mean any Mike Tomlin coach team. It, you exactly. Gotta, you gotta play him. Just like um we don't talk about the Patriots anymore because but anytime you play the Patriots, you gotta come, you gotta play because they got a coach. They have a great coach. And that's a game. They're gonna be packed out. They're right down the street. Yeah. They're gonna come. They're gonna show up with them terrible towels, whooping. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's gonna be interesting. That's one of the best experiences I've ever seen in my life playing out there. What the terrible towels? 
Oh yeah, been doing that thing in the fourth quarter with Renegade. It's dope. Have you you never been out there, huh? No, I've never you gotta been. Do it. I've never been to. I've only went to a Steelers. I went to a Steelers Ravens game, but it was at the Ravens because my family lives in Maryland. So mm -hmm. that game was at the Ravens. Steelers yeah. at Ravens because um, my mom is Steelers fan. Uh -huh. And we were supposed to go to the Eagles Steelers game this season. She didn't do her homework. All of a sudden, oh no, I'm not paying to watch my team lose. <laughs> and I'm like, my y'all might have it's any given Sunday. Like oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> she talking about something. I'm not paying to see my team. I'm like, it's any given Sunday, my like y'all could very well beat us. They got this. The Eagles going all the way. I ain't going to that game. <laughs> yes, y'all Eagles fans, y'all got to stay week to week now because. As soon as somebody knock on wood, as soon as somebody gets hurt, the, the air is gonna go out of the place. And then who are you talking about? Us? Yes, the Eagles. Okay, but no, Every that is true. It's one injury away from not going. Okay, through. that is true, but we're a couple of injuries. Because one thing about us, we got depth. In that Cardinals game, we were we were we had our, our third string rookie center out in that Cardinals game. People yeah. don't know that. People don't talk about that. Cam Jurgens. Third string center was out. Listen, we got depth, baby. Wh wh whoever, wh whoever is available. Listen, man. <laughs> this is week seven. Well, let's talk again. Week twelve. We gonna talk again. Then we gonna see what the energy is like. <laughs> no, I'm just saying we we do have depth though. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, and that's the key. Like you gotta. That's where you find depth in the draft through you know late round picks undrafted guys playing well like i mean that's when you know you're winning as a general manager because you can just pick out some cats that can play and throw them in there and not have to worry feeling good feeling great but Corm, i'm gonna let you get back to work don't want to get you in trouble get you uh -huh. a... yeah right <laughs> Yeah, right. But all right, you guys, he is Corbin Bryant. Let him know where to find you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Find me on Twitter, C Bryant198. You can find me on Instagram, Corbin Bryant97. Hit me up if you want to know anything about the Bills. Let's talk about the Bills, baby. Because yes. the Super yeah, Bowl, follow him on Sunday. I feel He's sorry. I feel sorry for the Eagles when we play them in the Super Bowl. Okay, and you had the team. Bills going to the Super Bowl last season. How'd that work out for you, Corbin? Well, we were we were closer than the Eagles. <laughs> This is a different team, Corbin. Y'all the same team. Y'all bringing the same team to the no, market. We don't, we don't. We don't have the same team. We got more depth on the D line this year. And we don't see. And you came on your starting. You came on your starting stuff. And we're running the ball better. And Gabe Davis is playing better. See, I didn't say anything about beating the Bills. You started that. So I'm yeah, just, I'm, I'm just letting you know because I'll be out at the Super Bowl when it's happening. Okay. All right, Pat, just worry about the Chiefs for right now. How about that? We beat the Chiefs. Wait, who did y'all worry about the Dolphins? Yeah, uh, we can beat the Dolphins. We the next time we play the Dolphins will be at uh at home in the cold. So all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and turn your notification bells on until we talk to you guys next time. Bye.